Hey guys, me I supply in the hero core file four. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, me I supply in hero. Okay, yeah. Last time, last time, this time, we are going to be getting the rest of those computers that I can see on the map so far. And dudes are shooting at me. I can go upstairs here, so I'm gonna go upstairs. Cause some ruckus up in the attic. Why not? And here we go. A computer. Tetron was a machine. He eventually replicated his mind. That is not what that said, but I've already read that before, so I don't need to say it again. Stuff. I, yeah, I have to go all the way around here. All the way around here in level 3, the easiest level of them all besides level 1 or 2 or 3. Level 1. That's right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I can't go any faster than this, so I don't know why I'm saying let's go. I just want to kill your turrets, though. You guys, you turrets, not in the way in the slightest. And these worm guys... Also not in the way, as you can see, they are clearly not impeding my progress at all. And thus the last computer was born. I will fire a single shot into this abyss for no particular reason. It's just here, I like it, but it's like, I wish it did something. If you shot it like 25,000 times, maybe a secret area would open up. Oh yes, and that reminds me, never mind, never mind. There's a place that I need to remember to go to later, up in level 9, but I'm going to forget to go there unless someone reminds me, so let's go here instead. There are three entrances to the main area of level 8, so let's just take the main route, kill a shield man, why not? Destroy your entire body by destroying my entire body. And there we go, the deed was done. But at what cost? Well, I had to traverse over his face in order to get through, but... Oh man, I gotta kill everything here. Gotta kill everything using the power of shield destruction at my disposal. Enemies everywhere. Shields in my face. Shields in my abdomen, my rear, in my stomach, and in my colon. It should not be in there, but I ate it once and it did not digest correctly. That is the story I am sticking to, and that guy managed to hit me with a very, very sad shot. It was depressed, that shot was. Oh no! We have got some fighting we have to do. With a triple shot, double shot, turrets everywhere, getting annihilated. Jesus, 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 Remar Games. Let's go through again. Try to dodge this guy at first, but he maneuvers so swiftly and so silently. He is frightening me, that man he is. But yeah, this time my strategy, go for the turrets before I go for the guts, ouch. Man, that freaking core is pretty good at what he does, but he is not the hero of this game. I am the core of this hero, oops. Well, it is time for that guy to meet his maker. His maker is apparently myself, or is it? Maybe I'll make him meet his maker. Oh, I finally get that phrase, never mind. Never mind, I understand what it means now. You don't have to explain it to me. I have come to the realization that lasers are now no longer blocking certain passages. Though I don't know why that is important at all. So let's instead make our way back. Maybe even... Nope, can't even teleport back. Gotta teleport through this guy's stomach, though. I must have teleported through the stomach. Is the only way. Uh oh! Snail mix. Okay, let's go. Downwards, I think. Because I think downwards is where will be a dead end for some reason and also there's a guy here I should probably kill a spawner a baby spawner oh it's so cute spawning spews and aphids everywhere it's a dude draconian madstone is your something that rhymes with ew I don't know so uh how's it going yeah you guys are gonna get shot by lasers and my lasers are not actually lasers wow there's a lot of things everywhere in this screen Oh yeah, there's a spawner. See, I, I need to notice that there are things on the screen that are important to destroy besides the large objects that are wanting me to be destroyed. And so we have arrived at what looks to be... Well, maybe the boss is here? I don't know. I don't, I don't think the boss is on the next screen. Or maybe it is, and I've forgotten what it is like to fight a boss out of the order that I was intending. Oh man, this guy, freaking these guys are so huge, man. They are annoying. I wish you dead, my friend, because you are shooting gears at me, which is really freaking... Just just take more damage, dude. That's the only thing I ask of you. Take more damage so that you may perish sooner, and I'm being an idiot. Amazing. I know that level 8 is like a sequence of kill rooms throughout the entire structure, which is what makes it so... So irksome, so difficult for me at least. It is probably the hardest zone in my opinion. And we are only, we're not even at the hard part yet. I remember the hard part. The hard part is in the main top section, I think. 
of level 8. And now we're just fighting this guy. And he is not very difficult, but he does take a lot of time, and if you screw up, it's still gonna be hard. Man, you just take forever to kill. Ah! Ah! Your only gimmick is to waste my time! How do you feel about that, sir? How do you feel? About a gear being plunged into my knee? Probably not very well. Okay, yeah, don't die, please. That'd be great. Just explode. That'd be super... Man, you do not die. Like, are you ever going to... There we go. Jeez, you are a waste of my life. But then I got a computer. Whoa, I found all of them already? For some reason, I thought I was still at 6, but I guess that was yesterday, and today is a new day. Dawn. Whoa, what the heck? That was an odd occurrence. It was like a double sound effect thing. I was confused. So anyway, there's a thing here. I'm gonna activate it, but it can't hurt me. Look at it struggling! I wonder if it will, like, self-destruct out of sheer pain that it's experiencing. I don't think so. But yeah, I imagine having to explode yourself into so many gears that often would be so taxing on your psyche. Oh, look at that guy shooting his balls everywhere. I, should I take care of him first? Probably. You are now deceased, friend. Uh, dear gear goshing, er, aka gear dodging. I don't know how I butchered up that sentence. But yeah, this there's so many of these guys in this zone, and they take they just they take time to kill. That is what I'm going to complain about, I guess. Even though, yeah, I shouldn't complain at all, they're not... They're not even close to being difficult at this point in time. Maybe if they're paired with other enemies, they will, but that hasn't happened yet. That will happen pretty soon, I imagine, though. Pretty... soon, unfortunately. You're doomed. Sir, yes, you will pay the price... Uh, ...of your life! Which is 29 cents a gallon! A gallon of your blood fluid, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. And this way leads to the boss, but it is guarded, as you can see, by a huge freaking blockage there that we cannot go through. So we must find another orb guy to kill. And to do that, we must go this way. Through the lava, through the world, and... Oh yeah, okay, I don't have to kill this guy, so this isn't too bad. But dodging this guy is a real pain, I remember that much. I always had to, like, take a hit there. It was was not my favorite part of the game, that point right there. But this part, wow, that was, like, not difficult at all. It was probably the most easy fight of this entire section. Yeah, I think so, actually. So let's go up northwards, kill stuff, shoot planes, blow up other stuff, get hurt by balls that are shooting everywhere. And, oh yeah, I remember this room. You can't do this from the bottom, so that's why you have to go from the top and the side. So if I go to the bottom, which I probably will later, you don't want to actually go there. And then there's this guy, this miniature man here. Go away, miniature guy! You are annoying. You will be vanquished, and that is why you have been vanquished already. I vanquished you before I said you were going to be vanquished. Am I some kind of prescient nonsense? Perhaps. That guy totally cornered me, though. Alright, so, I bet you're all curious. What's to the left? Well, uh, that's not there. It's up here more. Why am I saying that? I gotta get through here first. And this guy... Oh, man, this guy, seriously. Get away so I can get through you. Ah, whoa, that, that was actually pretty okay. And then there's shield guy here. Not a big deal, but sometimes he, he does a good job at blocking the way that you want to go. And over here is just this. So if you're curious about what's there, it's just that. It leads to nothing, and it's not really that interesting. It, it's already been clear. Well, what the heck? Uh, just keep doing the same things. Ah! Doing things the correct way generally leads to victory. Sometimes unorthodox methods do work, but... Uh, they are unorthodox, and therefore usually untested, or tested and found to not work at all, or work badly, or worse, you know, whatever. Dude, sir, please shoot your gun elsewhere. You are large, and you've got a spine back. Are you some kind of lionfish? I know there's probably plenty of other predators out there that have spiked backs like that, but I don't feel like recounting all of those species on the internet for everyone to hear. Especially since I don't know of all of them. Oh man, don't die please. That would be unfortunate at this point in time, but it looks like that might happen because I am an idiot and bad at playing video games like this. But a victory was mine, and such we move on to the next part of the gauntlet. 
another fight with some dudes. Thankfully, it's easy, but you still gotta go through like all of those rooms taking damage from itty little amounts that add up over time. That guy's shots here is hard as heck to do that too. Even though it's not really. Snake guy, if you please. Ah, oh, freaking shields. I always forget that guy can spawn shield men. Shield men are the worst. Well, not the worst, but definitely up there in the baddies. Even though they're so simple. Whew. Come on, shield guy. Yes. Oh, but got your brethren here. Ah, keep your babies away from me. Oh, I didn't know they could shoot. I mean, there's so many enemies with bullets all the time. It's kind of hard to tell. And here we go. The main event. Finally, the dude that we are all waiting to fight. And then I died by something I could not see. And it goes on. <laughs> Whoa, made it here without taking any damage at all. That's pretty impressive. And then I proceed to take damage from the smallest and most insignificant of all the bullet types. I am pretty impressive. Dude. Bullet. Shooter. Orb cannon dude thing. I wish you to be dead. And dead you will be. Momentarily. Hell yeah. And now we make our way to the boss. I think in a few more rooms actually just gonna make it through here and yeah there's this little X here don't know what this is I don't know if it means anything but I I was never able to do anything with it so I have no idea let me get this pretty little face room thing that is there for just decoration and now we fight the star splitter where I get hit instantaneously and yes he has double the amount of places you gotta shoot him now <laughs> Uh, he used to just have them in the corners, but now he has them on the points, too, so that's, uh... This makes this a little bit more challenging. But I didn't find this guy as challenging as the Guardian, so it's... It's just... You gotta pay attention to, like, where the stuff's falling. And you just have to pay attention to see if he's going to do his, like, double. Like, sometimes he'll land in a spot, but he'll, like, bounce. So you gotta just be wary of that. I don't know what determines any of that, but, uh... Here we are fighting this guy. Star Splitter. Splitter of stars, I guess. I don't know if that's significant to his you know, job occupation at all, but his name certainly is interesting. Wow, okay, so we are, like, making some decent progress, actually. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, but yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a boss, and he's pretty difficult, so, uh, I don't expect to win for a little while. And you shouldn't either. Oh no, Eliminator! Freaking Hunter Killer! Get out of my laboratory! Ugh! I mean, we are in a factory. I guess I could be counted as a laboratory. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. I am level 8, so you will not stay. But I do wish to fight you, if you will allow me. Please, Eliminator, Annihilator, Elimisophagus. Yeah, th this arena is not good for fighting. I'm sorry, man, but uh, I'm just gonna kinda let you go there. See you later, buddy. Alright. Star Splitter, get some cheap hits there. Oh, man, dang it. Come on, Tentacle. Tip! Destruction! Destroy! Oh wow, we already did it. Already got one hit down, but you know, my health is extremely low for this. So, this isn't really that good. And also, his phase 2 will probably kill me anyway, so yeah, just... Start all over! It just is. It's hard for me to explain while trying to live here, but if I keep doing that combo, I'm definitely not gonna survive. That's just a fact of life. Combos do not allow victory to happen very easily. Uh. Yes. Sitting right in front of his face is surprisingly useful to win. Yeah, wow, okay, those falling things really do a lot of damage. Better 
safe than sorry, I guess. Don't get hit by falling things. And don't get hit by his body. That's also a big no-no in this fight. Getting hit by anything, really, except for his small shots. Ah, kind of had to take the hit there, otherwise I would have gotten hit by his body blades things. Giant saw wheels, mega sides, boulder patches. I don't know what to call those. They are deadly, though. Oh man, halfway dead. Okay. Just move somewhere good, and I will assault you from a direction. Whoa, okay, yes, man. Uh, sometimes it's just impossible to avoid getting hit, it seems. Gotta get out of here, no. Wait, this is going pretty good. Will I be able to get him to a second phase at least? Probably. Or not. Get on this side, dude. I need to attack you from the other direction. Uh, no. Please. Move towards me. I am your target, after all. You should probably focus on annihilating me. Here we go. It is time for you to get into a better position again. Come on, dude. Come on. Don't tease me like that. Don't be a tease. You really are teasing me a lot, dude. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, yes, okay. Time for phase two. Just gotta shoot him till he's dead, man. He is the crosshair that every shooter wants to get with, for he is extremely enormous and encompasses a large portion of the screen. And that's why FPSs are so fantastic these days. Oh man, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got this. If I don't, then uh, wow, I'm pathetic. I should be ashamed of myself. Yes! The dude has been vanquished. And now my suit is completely invulnerable! No, that'd be amazing though, but... Before I forget, I want to go here and see if you guys remember the thing place. Well, yeah, the thing place is where I am going. Look how much damage I don't take anymore. I am the master. The king of Tetron's kingscape. Make it through that little alcove into a scary place and end up in a random place on the map. Yes, and also, yeah, we already knew that, but you can get back to the real world like that. It's pretty awesome. So anyway... Next time is Tetron time. Well, wait, 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 we gotta fight the Eliminator first. So I guess next time will be a hunt for the Eliminator. And then Tetron Prime time. See you guys then. Very, very, very close to finishing hard mode. That's crazy.